now here we are going to learn about the filter functions and the first function which i'm going to explain over here is filter itself right why do we use the filter so like the name itself suggests we use this to filter the data in our visualization right so you might say that the, for that purpose slices are also there so that indeed is there but you know sometime we might require to perform the uh, conditional you know conditional calculation and many other things in such situations filter becomes really really useful now this kind of syntax is something which we use this is a very basic one right so all that we require to do is first type the filter function and then provide the table name on which we need to perform the filter and then provide the condition which we want to use to filter the data for example here we got the syntax for example let's say before we move further let, let's understand the filter condition also what all are the things that it comprises of so filter condition itself will be comprised of these components for example into that you would require to provide table along with column name so table name only is given already over here now here you would require to provide the column name but column name will not be provided standalone that will be provided with table as well don't worry it takes automatically it gives you the automatic suggestion you just need to select them then you need to provide the operator for example equals to greater than less than etc and then you need to provide the value uh, for example let's say i want to filter all those data where the transaction amount is greater than 4000 so here i would choose the transaction column and here I would say greater than and here I would write 4000 let me give you another example for example you have this table and basis on this you want to create another table but into that table you only want to keep the payment method as cash right so for that we would write the filter syntax something like this filter as it is then this table name this table name is sheet one backup so that I'm giving over here then sheet one backup in under square bracket i'm providing the column on which i need to perform the filter so payment column is something on which i need to perform the filter that i've given then here comes the operator equals to and then here i'm saying cash right cash is the value which i want to filter out of it so this is how i can create a subset of this table using filter criteria now i'm going to take you to the power bi and help you understand this with real example okay so i'm just going to perform this exact example over here which i just showed you so there are two examples which i will be giving you for the filter one is very basic and then the other one is little advanced where we will combine filter function with other aggregated functions okay so let's just start with the very basic one so this is the table called supermart i'm going to create another table using this and into that table i would only like to keep those entries where the payment method is cash right so for that purpose all that i need to do is go on home tab and from here you can click new table you might notice that i am not in the visualization view but i am in the data view and over here i'm just going to say cache table cache table and here i'm going to use filter criteria then if you remember the syntax first i need to provide the table name so supermart then i need to provide the column name so supermart into supermart the column name which i need to use is payment all right and then equals to and in double quotation i need to provide the value which i want to filter so for that matter i want to filter for cash so just close this and hit enter as soon as you do that you would see another table created over here so like you can see cash table is just created you see this cash table is created now at any point of time if you want to use that table you can go ahead and use that table cash table same as you can use this i just hope that it was clear to you now let me take you to this view which is nothing but the report view and over here you see this is the original table which we have out of which we had filtered for cash now i'm going to give you another example for example i want to create a matrix and I want to see in this matrix, I want to see the sum of total bill by the product line, right? So, so let me just take this. So product line, I'm going to drag and drop in rows and then sum of total bill. Well, is where is total bill? So total bill is here. I'm just going to put that into the in right over here, right? total bill so you see for each of the product line we got over here now there is one condition i want to see the same view but i want to take a sum only when the trans 
payment type was cash or only when the payment type was e-wallet right so for that purpose how can i use this how wh what is it that i would require to do so for that purpose i would require to create a measure in this table itself so in this table i am going to select this table and on the these three dots i will click new measure if you are following my video you might have understood how to create the v uh, how to create the measures right so exactly that i'm going to do so i'm going to say sum cash right and for that again i would require to filter so to filter i need to provide the same thing table name then the table name along with the column name so i i need to take a sum of only those entries where the payment type is cash right and that i'm going to do over here this is done right filter criteria is closed now because i have to sum it so for that purpose i need to use a function which is called sum x right you might be uh, you might be getting a question why we are not using sum instead of sum x right so sum is to perform a normal sum and sum x is to perform the summation basis on certain criteria so here we have provided the criteria now we need to put the column on which we want to perform the sum so for that i would use supermart and the total bill where is total bill if you can see it anywhere that's right here and just hit enter close the bracket and then hit enter sorry my bad as soon as we do that we are going to get that column right over here created somewhere you see some cash now i would take this and i will just drop into it now what do you see over here you see for electronic accessories the original sum was 20600 while the sum for cash entries is just 9042 and for these two products you would see it is absolutely blank because for these two products there is no cash payment fashion accessories and food beverages you see for fast food beverages there is no cash payment for fashion accessories also there is just one entry and for that the payment methods was e-wallet so this is how we can use the filter conditions this was just one example and this is kind of something you can understand for the beginner or intermediate label now as we progress further we will see the more advanced uses of the filter but take a note this filter function is very very useful thing and that's going to be used immensely thank you very much for watching the video wish you very very